So my question is, have you ever used an Instagram bot? Does it work or does it ruin your account? Um... Hey, welcome to... <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jade, and today you're watching another marketing tips and tricks video on Instagram. Oh, I am just so thankful you are here. I got a question from my girl, Nada. Nida? Nida. Um, asking about how to use Instagram bots the right way. Are they good for you? We're gonna dive in all of that and how I actually use them in the past and why it didn't really work for me. I'm super excited to just jump right in. If you're new here and you've never seen this space, what the frick is up? I'm a 17 year old entrepreneur helping people grow their social um, and I truly just feel for you guys. I understand that frustration of growing on Instagram because we all just want to be freaking famous. So I'm about to break the truth and give you guys what's really happening happening with Instagram bots and all that. Oh, by the way, guys, I'm currently in Seattle, hence the, the skyline. I am traveling, making content, but exactly a year ago, I was actually in your guys' shoes where I had exactly 1,123 followers. I'll put a screenshot, something like that. If you guys are curious, I will reveal the software I use, but I had problems. There's one key thing you guys are missing when you guys are automizing your account. Before I dive right in, make sure you guys give this video a like, obliterate the like button, subscribe if you're so far enjoying it. And hey, all the time we help you grow on social and I'd love to have you. I really actually would. Okay, so, so basically a year ago, I was just really frustrated because I wanted to be this like influencer and maybe you felt this before, but you just felt like you weren't big enough. Like I had this mentality where I legitimately thought that I had to have X amount of followers just to be an influencer. Insecure as fuck, like just didn't know what I was doing. I posted content about me, myself, what I like, but for some reason, no one really appreciated it. Now, similarly, a subscriber, actually one of you guys emailed me, thanks for the email, Nita, says, Hey, my name is Nita. Um, when Instagram first came out, I made this account having zero knowledge and I used to post random stuff on it. I never got followers except for my friends and family. What do you know? We're all on the same boat. <laughs> I did got appreciation, but no followers. So my question is, have you ever used an Instagram bot? Does it work or does it ruin your account? Um, wait, if it's N-I-D-A, is it Nita or Nida? Nida. Nida. Yes, Nita. The service I used was called followadder.com. I'm not affiliate for it, neither do I kind of recommend it just because it was so hard to use, but it did work. Currently my account has 23,000. You know, as I was growing that, you know, the first beginning stages, the zero to 5K is the hardest one. It is the painful, it's the most painful because not only do you have to expand out of your friends and family, but boy, you gotta work hard because that first stage is when you don't have the social proof, when you are kind of just starting out, right? And you don't have the confidence. Once you have the confidence down, you can move like freaking lightning speed. So the idea is yes, it does work. I mean, an Instagram bot, basically likes for you it comments on other people's posts so they can notice you and then follow you back it does the following right i like to list it out in the three a's it brings you awareness it assists you and it analyzes so an instagram bot really just helps you get the awareness right you reach out to people they kind of comment back they see your post you get that initial eyeball um, and it insists you like it automizes it for you so you don't have to touch it it just runs on your computer basically that's what a service does um, and then the third thing it analyzes typically instagram bots kind of help me look at my data and see what's going on um, it gets you more data savvy and makes you just more aware of what the numbers really are but the one thing actually no the three things y'all are missing is that a service like anything you usually use cannot replace the following which i call the three c's do you guys like my little three c three a's i was trying to make it easy for you guys this is something you cannot replace which is connection conversation and community if you're not gonna freaking outsource this shit you know you can't just hire on fiverr like how to freaking get community. No, this is work you have to put into your audience. So first, let's start with connection. There's no way an Instagram bot or any service or me even can tell you how to connect with people. How, what do people really value? We don't freaking know. A lot of you guys on my DMs are asking me, which I love you so much, but you're asking me permission. Like, what do people want to see? I don't know, Sarah. You tell me. You have to ask them. You have to build that connection. And you can't just rely on a bot. And that's why you guys aren't making, I mean, maybe you're getting appreciation, but not followers. The reason why you're not converting is because people don't give a shit, you know? So the second thing is conversation. <laughs> a lot of you don't know how to DM people or how to interact. Um, it's just like making friends in high school, you know? Just a little awkward, small talk, and then you build from there. Um, I really highly recommend not to automate that. It's just gonna sound really stiff and really fake. And then the last C is the community. Like there is no way you're gonna build a tribe or what you guys want, which is influence out of using this bot, you know, relying on it. Um, remember the three C's and the three A's. Like there's, there's a way for you to automize it so you can focus on the three C's. Now, if you don't do, if you just ignore them saying that's chill, 
But this is what's gonna happen if you don't have the three C's, if you don't build community connection and conversation. You're gonna be one of the following, and I've actually specified the types of you, okay? We got the we got these three species I've been seeing lurking around Instagram. So the first person is we got the Instagram model, okay? This is someone who's pretty looking. They take good pictures, it's it's fun and dandy, but they don't do shit. They're literally just fun to look at, you know? Um, and you don't really take action. And I call this an Instagram model because they post a lot, a lot of selfies, and it's just about themselves. And they complain when they don't get the awareness they want. Uh, so don't be the Instagram model. The second person is called the mosquito. I'm oh, not the mosquito. What's an annoying bug? Like, what's an annoying... Mosquito work. Mosquito? Don't be a mosquito, okay? So the mosquito is someone who you just you just freaking see this photo and you're like, no, no, because they post like three times a day, they post 40 times on their stories, it has nothing to do with you, and you're so close to literally turning off their notifications and unfollowing them because they're that annoying. The fly. The fly? Yeah. Don't be a fly. Get out of my face, you know? Don't be a fly. Don't post irrelevant content. And the last the last one, this is this is the one that you guys are gonna kill me for. So this is the type of person that it's the nice to have around friend. You know, the friend that doesn't really do shit for you, you're just like, oh, like, I guess I'll bring them along to movies, you know? Like, if it's like an awkward date, you're like, oh, like, I'm gonna bring the third wheel. You know, that's the awkward friend. So it's someone who's nice to have, but you don't really give a shit about them. So a lot of you guys are neither super knowing, neither super selfish, you're just like, kind of flowing, which is kind of harmful to your brand. You guys aren't realizing that. You can't just post mediocre content and mediocre distribution. You'll just stay the same. Um, so I want you guys to be self-aware. If you can specify who you are, <laughs> if you're one of these people, let me comment down below. Trust me guys, I was the Instagram model um, and I was definitely the nice to have around for sure. Um, and once you really specify and self-aware of what, what you're currently doing, it's gonna be so much easier you know, to follow three C's or don't even listen to me, just follow um, the right steps to take and don't just rely on bot. So Anita, back to your question. You're saying that you get appreciation, but no followers. So you're getting eyeballs, you're getting clicks, but no one's converting and staying loyal. The way you do that is just building that connection and you cannot rely on someone else other than yourself to do it. So I really implore you guys to start talking to your fans and followers, start asking them what content they wanna see, be relevant and be present. And once you have those two things with timing, you get the influence you want and you'll actually receive the conversions you're looking for. So guys, that was today's video. Now, if you wanted some more of this, you guys felt some value, I actually have my messenger platform where I typed all of this onto a guide so you can look at any time. All you have to do is click the link in the descriptions. It's free, it's gonna be lit. Um, yeah, so that'd be awesome. Make sure you click that link below and shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment on this post to be featured in the next episode seriously guys check the link below i will catch you guys in the next one i love you so so much um greetings from seattle i'm coming out with more vlogs more content just stay tuned and if you so far enjoyed it and you got any value subscribe if you are not subscribed what the fuck love you guys peace